Hello, hello everyone. I hope you are good today. We are very tired, but we're going to try to do a new stream anyway. And today we want to do a little bit of Rust and Game Dev. So continuing on from what we did last time. And if you don't know what we did, you can check out our Twitch recordings here or on YouTube. I'll post the link in a second in the chat. Uh, we have all the recordings. What we did is trying to build a very simple game. We're going to show you in a second using Bevy, which is a game engine written in Rust and allows you to create games in Rust. And uh, very recently, uh, the, a new version of Bevy was released. We were using 0 0.8 and 0 0.9 was just released. So what we are going to try to do today is just update to 0 0.9 and see what breaks. There are a lot of breaking changes. So even with our yeah. simple game, we expect that there is a, a lot of work to do to try to refactor things. And then we'll take it from there. Our game is far from being complete. So if we have extra time, we'll try to add more features and continue the development. Meanwhile, feel free to ask any question in the chat, suggestion, everything. Insults are also well, well accepted to a certain extent, of course. Don't go too crazy. Each has new insults. Exactly. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it. So I'm going to share my screen if I manage to do that. Have you posted in the chat the link? I did not. Thank you. I'm going to do that. OK, uh, you can find all the recordings. So here, if we do cargo run, hopefully it's going to be fast enough. And hopefully and, still running. And hopefully still working. What you can see is that we have a spaceship here, and we have some fuel, and we are moving in space. So if I accelerate, the spaceship starts to move and it's going to keep moving and we spend a little bit of fuel. I can also rotate and move in another direction. And what I'm doing is that I'm increasing the velocity in a different direction. And this is all we have implemented so far. Actually, there is another cool thing that if we go outside, basically the spaceship wraps around the space. Like so, Pac-Man. <laughs> exactly like Pac-Man. So we want to add more game dynamics. For instance, we want to add fuel cells spawn around. And if you collect the fuel cells by hitting them, you basically recharge your fuel. We also want to do uh, asteroids that if you collide with them, the ship is going to explode and it's game over. And at that point, the game, we, we might add like a scoring system. Yeah, maybe, we have to think of something. Maybe the longer you survive or the more fuel cells you collect, you make points. And then essentially it's like a survival game that the longer you survive, the, the basically the, yeah, the game is never ending if you're able to survive forever. It just gets harder. Exactly. We might also add some logic, like it progressively spawns more asteroids or something like that, or maybe yeah, I don't know, it gets progress. faster, whatever. If you have suggestions, let us know what you think. And yeah, uh, we also had a version in Python that we presented last time that Roberto was working on. We will be sharing the links here. So I have here the Python one. Let me find the other one. I think this is the link. Yeah, this is the last one. Hey, WGAF, how are you? Good to see you in the chat. Oh, aim to misbehave. Uh, are you suggesting to that that's like a feature of the game or what? Or something else? Or of our stream. <laughs> yes, we, we can definitely misbehave. OK, so let's do the first thing that we promised you, which is basically yeah. we go here, we go in the cargo tunnel, we bump baby to 0 0.90 and I have no idea if the feature set is the same I'm just going to run cargo run and see how it explodes and I expect it to explode it probably is going to take a long time as well to recompile everything oh, well it's quite fast in the... no I say no, it's, it's quite like fast, but yeah. stop it. also my CPU is like 100% so if you see things lagging it's, it's probably normal Oh, okay. WGAF is saying it's a saying from a series. Let me see if I can put I this. I have no screen. idea which one it is. Aim to misbehave, which is a series in space. So yeah, maybe maybe that could be the name of the game. We don't even have a name <laughs> right now. So. Oh, yeah. Okay, maybe we get sued you... for, uh, for uh, I don't know. Copyright and probably abuse. Yeah. yeah. Do we want to go to the release website in the meanwhile? Yeah, exactly. So oh, this yeah. is the release post from the Bevy core team. And uh, there is a lot of stuff, a lot of new stuff around 3D, which 
to be honest, we're not we're not really concerning ourselves with too much. So if they didn't change the rotation system, we are safe. I guess uh, that could be. I don't think they did, but no, I, I didn't read anything like that here. But I guess we'll figure it out. So yeah, it's a lot about like the rendering processing, the rendering pipeline, I guess. But keep in mind that we are very new to game development. I, at least I am. So I'm not the most familiar with all this kind of tooling and terminology. There is some cool additional effects also in 2D. Maybe something we'll be able to use eventually when we start to polish our game. But yeah, there is a lot of 3D stuff. And I think the stuff that matters for us is that eventually when we get to non-3D stuff, there is some interesting stuff around the entity component system. Ah, uh, yeah, that one is hitting us. Which I think is where we're going to start to see problems. Mm. And errors. OK, cool. Uh, where is it? Somewhere. OK, here, improved entity component API. So uh, I think the main thing is that now everything is a bundle. Before we had the distinction between components and bundles, which I think still exists to some extent. Mm. Now the difference is that a component is also a bundle made of one component. So it kind of implements that the bundle trait with just one component. Or at least this is the way I understood the announcement. So that allows for a simpler, more uniform API. Like when you spawn. Okay. Yeah, and then it say previously we had separated variable bundle, insert bundle, and component, insert, com insert some component. Exactly. The now, you, now you just call spawn for everything, regardless if it is a single uh, bundle or if it's a, a single component and you want to spawn it as its own new entity. Uh, we were inserting uh, multiple components in our entities. Uh, how will you do that now? So here, this is probably something that is going to hit us because um, before you needed to do spawn.insert if it was just one component. For instance, the component here is just player, right? Mm -hmm. Here, because a component also implements the, the trait, the bundle trait, you can just do spawn of that player. So I don't know if this is entirely deprecated. Maybe it still works, to be honest. But we can definitely use this one in a few places in our game. Mm. And the chain of multiple insert, OK, that one. No. Yeah, so another thing is that a tuple of components is also a bundle by default, automatically implements the, the bundle trait. So this is another alternative syntax for what before. Actually, I don't know if it's a mandatory syntax or if it's just an alternative syntax. Uh, we will discover that in a moment. If but yeah, before you needed to say, OK, spawn a bundle and then to this bundle, insert yeah. another bundle or insert an individual. Uh, like you always needed to think, is this a bundle or is this a single component? And you had different methods yes, to exactly. spawn or insert. Here you can just spawn a table of all of them. Funny stuff. I started working on a Python uh, um, refactor of the Python code for this game that is uh, mimic bevy a little bit. So using the same insert spawn command, the reflection that they have uh, and so on. And they already changed the API. So I have to, <laughs> <laughs> I have to already refactor my refactor. Yay. <laughs> Yeah, I think we need to keep in mind that uh, Bev is still not even version one. Yeah. So they it's... say they say that somewhere in the website. Don't use us to make a commercial game because our API will break. And uh, yes, mm -hmm. it's happening. But I, I like that they seem to be focusing not just on features, like adding more and more features, but also thinking about the ergonomics. So hopefully, when it's going to be stable, there is a lot of like well thought and well matured. APIs. Yeah, but to shape a little bit of API that makes sense, you need a, a set of features that you want to support. Otherwise, mm -hmm. uh, you are just planning on top of nothing. So it's normal to go through these uh, exercise of prototyping and changing. Mm -hmm. healthy. OK, then there is the insert API as well. I actually, did couple, it... again. I actually don't know what's the difference here. Why yeah, commands we... insert uh, to what? Exactly. Does it? <laughs> Is it the same to like spawn dot insert or is it something else? I have no yeah, idea. Insert on Ooh, sorry, let me remove my notifications. OK, so uh, let's see what else. Oh, there is also remove bundle, which again, I have no idea what it is because I thought that was this spawn. Like you call this spawn. Yeah, but this is removing from what? From which? Yeah, yeah from what? 
so I'm not too sure about that. No, I don't know. We don't we don't use it, so yeah, exactly. So this is I don't think this is gonna affect us. Now there is this thing of exclusive exclusive system. I have no idea what it is. We don't use it. My understanding, very high level, by looking at some of these examples, is that it's a system that can have exclusive access to specific entities or resources or something else, which we don't use. So they they did rework some of that. And I think again they kind of try to improve the ergonomics. The query they changed the query somehow. That is a. There is a query us. state, but I think again it's made for this uh, exclusive system thing. Mm, okay. So I think that they just built a more generic concept and uniform the APIs rather than having systems and exclusive systems. Now everything is a system. Then you can use this system state, I think, to do more uh, or query state to do like. The same thing that you were doing before with these exclusive systems. Then there is also local, which I don't know exactly what it is. Maybe it's like a yeah, inside you have... the exclusive system. We are not using exclusive systems, so yeah, we'll need to check the documentation. Yeah. Now Bevy uses guts, which is a new feature of the last release in Rust. I wouldn't be able to explain it very well, but I think it's a more generalized approach to traits and dependent types. So I think the language itself now is a little bit more expressive when you need to define relationships between more generic types using traits. Okay, this is, impa this is, uh, is impacting the query because and, it's making the query simpler probably. Yeah, and I Definitely. think before they needed to do a bunch of acts basically to, mm. to work around some of the limitations of Rust. Now I think it's becoming a little bit more natural and the design is a little bit cleaner because they can use this new feature of Rust, which by the way, I saw in a video that is like, five or six years that they are working on defining this feature so it seems to be okay. a very tricky one to get right in the language that's a lot of time okay then um this is actually something that i don't know if we are using resources i not, too not sure. yet i think but this is an interesting one so resource is like a singleton you can instantiate a struct and then mm -hmm. once you insert it in the game basically you can fetch it as you do with queries and entities and so on. You just say resource or resource mutable, and it's something that you can use. I don't know. I have seen an example, for instance, if you want to do uh, loading stuff from a file or something like that. Like if you want to interact with other things, you can use resources. Like you want to have that one struct that you can access anytime from your game. And now, before it could have been any struct, now you need to derive this resource trait. So it seems that they are trying to make it more explicit what can be a resource and what is just a plain struct. Again, I don't think this is going to impact us. Only if we are using a resource, we will probably need to just add this one line. I don't think we are using one. If we are using one and we don't know, it will tell us something. Okay, now ambiguous set. I have no idea what is this. So I'm just going to skip over. And then there are a bunch of optimizations, so probably it's going to be a little bit faster. Change detection, I have no idea. Enum reflection, okay, this is interesting. So that reflection that if you were following us last time and we were not sure where it was coming from, is actually a baby concept. So when we when we were doing the right reflect, it's actually a baby feature that allows you to uh, in the struct also add all the meta information about what are the properties of that struct, what are the types for every single property, so that in your game you could build tools like the one we use to display like a debugging uh, view uh, that use that reflection to automate some of the work. It's generally, I suppose, around debugging, but I don't know. You could be using it for other reasons too, maybe to create more generalized systems. And it was not able to do that on enumeration before. Before it was not able to do enums, apparently. We didn't bump into it. Now it is. Um, OK, is there anything else? Okay, now you can also reflect on containers, map, list, array, and tuples. Okay. Oh, there is an interesting example. I wonder if they added it to the website. Let's check that out meanwhile. Is it still uh, downloading and compiling? I your think family? so. Oh, actually, no, it failed. Okay. Yeah, we were expecting okay. It. Should we just jump into the content? Oh, let's try to make it run again. Ooh, good. 
good few hours. Lot. Okay, that's good. A lot of stuff. Okay. Hopefully, our code here is going to tell us as well. Point uh, first question that I have is that the plugin that we use to debug the stuff, mm -hmm. the one that makes the window, is compatible with 09 or we have to decide? Now I'm now. starting to think that it's not because inspectable is coming from that plugin mm -hmm. and it's already complaining. Yeah, but there is a new version of that plugin or? I don't know. Let's check it out. So let's it see. was in the cargo tomel too, that guy. Yeah. Let's see what's the latest version here. Uh, oh, they released 23 hours ago, 0 14. Mm. So just I'm just going to try to add day. that and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, we zero. were 0 13. 0 14. Let's, let's see. Probably they yeah. updated it. Now it should be quicker because I think it's going to keep all the compiled stuff in the cache. Is it? Try to jump let's in see. the console. Let's take a look. And do a cargo run. Ah, yeah, let's see. needs to download yeah. the new only three it needs to compile only three things Good. how long can it take eh? come on for any free bundles free cargos no okay it's uh, now complaining about the same stuff that we need to fix okay, okay so but that error is gone so this is this was easily fixed yeah. by just upgrading the inspector let's see here what are we doing wrong so spawn bundle we know that it's deprecated so this is just a warning so I suppose we can replace this with just spawn. Perfect, that fixed it. Now, texture atlas, what's the problem there? This is not the error, give me the error. No, okay, let's take it from here. This function takes uh, six arguments, but four arguments were supplied. Okay, what are the two missing ones? So we have texture, tile size, columns and rows, which is what we used last time. Now there padding is padding and offset. and offset, but because they are option, I think we can just give it a non. Mm, good. We can just give yeah, because uh, it's that is useful if your uh, sprite sheet map doesn't start at zero zero, mm -hmm. and between the single frames there is a padding. In our case, there is not. I made them in a way that uh, they are in the right place, also because it's less work even when you parse them by game. And I'm lazy. Okay, now there is a spawn. And I think this spawn, what we can do is literally just do this. Give give it a tuple because we need to give it a... tuple. So basically, let me let me refactor this a little bit, just for my own sanity. So here we start the tuple. And first thing is a sprite bundle. Then we add a starship. Yeah. The tuple. Then we add velocity. So. This, wait, I need to remove the parentheses there. Then velocity, then engine. Yeah, pilot. you know, so, to start to kick in. Come down. And then we add an animation timer. And then I have to figure out how many parentheses to close another yeah. one. And we need a comma here. And then a semicolon, the semicolon there. On... Is it? It's not happy. Is it another problem there? Okay, let's see. Spawn. What doesn't like it? You're missing some closed around brackets. So where does this one finish? Oh yeah, I need another one, I think. Okay, let's see. That true is still complaining. No, no more. That okay. true is still complaining because it was expecting baby prelude timer mode found boolean. Okay, what is it looking for? Ah, uh, now mode changed the type. It's not a boolean anymore. Okay. It was the repeat. Remember, before it was called a repeat, a repeat was true. Now the repeating. Time, okay. Yeah. They, time they made mode it more explicit. Repeat. Yeah, they made it with a type and not with a, a parameter called a repeat. Cool, almost cleared all the issues. Okay, now there are other spawn, so we need to do the same thing. We this spawn... is the text, right? Yes, this is the text. Uh, Copilot, stop. There is uh, only one stuff in that. Uh... There is uh, no fewer. No, there is also, text. okay, there are two of them. So, so we, we need a comma, again. we need this guy, and then we close the tuple and we close the function call. Is it? What does it like? So spawn, 
then open the tuple. The tuple is, is closed. All the text bundle. The tuple is closed here. Why does it like this fuel text? Where well, oh, I have, a, that, I think, an additional parenthesis. Wait. That the fuel text must be inside the tuple. It needs to be here, basically. Cool. Sorry, let me close this one. I think that's it. We fixed okay. everything. Everything fixed. So now, if you do a cargo run, is running. Let's see. It's running in another screen. Let me bring it here. Oh, why? Come on. Okay, you're gonna see my desktop because otherwise. Okay, interesting enough. The text is somewhere else. So the style, okay. <laughs> the style change behavior. Yes. Everything else seems to work. Rotation works. Acceleration works. Command work. The inspector works. If you open. Let's check in a second. So we have the inspector. Let's move it here. Camera works. Then entity. We have the engine, the engine, for instance, and we can add is on. Should show us the anime. Oh, it disables it. Yeah, yeah, it disables when because the the key is not pressed. Rotation speed, transform is changing while it's moving. Velocity is there, and if we change it, it's gonna go in different directions. Well, it's hidden here. So yeah, it seems to work except the text. That yeah, that the text uh, changes position for some reason. That's a bit Probably weird. Or they changed something. Uh, if they changed the reference system for any reason. Or... Remember oh. that we had some uh, issue understanding the alignment of the text around the, the window. They could have changed the... Yeah, the... could be. Okay, Talk maybe. about the corners and stuff like that. Let me close it was in the second. It was in the second spawn, that one. It was in the second spawn... Uh... Uh, let's see, fuel tax system. Oh, it was defined in the spawn, I think. There. So yeah, maybe this uh, which flex style? start uh, alignment self flex start. What do you have now in align self except the? Let's see. The added stuff. Out That's of the baseline. same. Yeah, there is a baseline. What is, what was baseline? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't the... think that makes a difference, but let's try. Okay. Why does yeah. it open in another window? That might be a difference. Mm, yeah. Or they are rendering differently the, the, the displays. Okay. So I need to bring it here. Can let's, you bring let's, it here? Let's do like this. That's probably the easiest approach. Are you try to run it from here to see if it stays in this screen? Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. no, it's always in the same place. It's always the same place. Yeah. Okay, we have to study a little bit better how to place the text on the screen, but uh, we can go on with more functionalities now if uh, if you want. Yeah, I have a feeling that it's totally ignoring this one. Now uh, you say that now it's not used anymore. Are you not lacking a closed door? You see, it's the same. So it's using the default style for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. Okay, something for future us to check. But now we can go on yeah. adding the stars, asteroids, and the if you will, what so you want to start with. We can either do that or try to refactor a little bit. Ah, yeah, we still have to split in files. No, let's split in files because we start to have a lot of content this file. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, what do you think is maybe maybe is suggesting you any way of uh, splitting stuff or not? No, I found a few reference projects that were saying. Let me see if I can find it again. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe reference project. The examples don't have enough code to showcase this, right? I think there might be some examples uh, that are a little bit more structured. Let's check on the website. Games. Yeah, like for example, breakout is a. Yes, let's see. Some View on GitHub. Okay, how they implemented it? Let's look here. Is it just one file? It is just one ah, file. Okay, cool. No, search for the uh, for the no. project you were talking about. No, not useful at all. No. 
Okay. You were uh, talking that... about projects that are showcasing some structure of the. Yes, I didn't store it in my bookmark, so I need to find it again. There is a snake clone that maybe is a little bit more structured. Let's see. I'm going to bring it on screen in a second. <clears throat> Allora, let's see. So this one is just one file again. So sad. Maybe so that's not structured a lot. Maybe that's okay. Let's go with is. our let's go with our own structure. Go. Okay, so uh, right. we can have a folder with our entities. Uh, we can have a folder for uh, the common components, a folder for the ship, a folder for the fuel, a folder for the mm -hmm. stars, stuff like that. The common uh, components are, for example, velocity, because fuel will have a velocity. The ship okay. already has a velocity. The asteroids, when we add them, they will have a velocity. So velocity is a common component because it's common to mm -hmm. multiple entities. So uh, I'm going to start to do a folder called game. So everything goes inside there. And we keep in main RS only uh, what the startup code? The LibreOS or ModRS? I can never remember. We'll figure it out. And uh, here we add a new file, common. And basically, here we do mod common. And inside common, we want to start to move um, all the stuff from here that we think they is are common, common between uh, For instance, the velocity. Let's start with velocity. Of course, this is going to break because we need hmm, the fact that it doesn't complain. I don't like it. We need velocity in the main when we do the spawn of the ship. That is the first of the two spawn in the setup. We probably need to do mod game. I think this needs to be mod. Okay, now it's finding it and it's creating the problem here. Yeah, well, okay. we need to import, reflect the component, uh, default. Uh, yeah, we have to implement to import all of those. And reflect. Why import component from Bevy? It's not the same component, that one? Mm, no. Interesting. I thought it was. Okay, what if we just import this? Then? Magic. This way it works. Okay. I, I did a mistake though because I remove it from here. No, we want input place. Okay, now here is gonna complain about velocity because we because don't now it's anymore. game velocity game dot velocity or but here we can do uh, use game asterisk. And we need to make it public, though. Game, uh, it was suggesting uh, copilot game uh, common star. Do we have to also say because it's inside the common is inside the common file? Is it? Yes. Unless here we do something like uh, use uh, pub use common. This is where we are like exporting everything top level. Mm. I don't know if it's a good practice, to be honest. If we have more experienced Rust people, let us know. But this is a way to keep the code organized, but then everything you are exposing at the same level, basically. So you, you organize it in whatever tree, but then it looks like it's flat. OK, so this is for velocity. What else do we want to put there? For now, I don't know what else can be in common between all of them. So I'll keep it for now. All the other components are ship components because the engine are ship components. Mm -hmm. Does uh, it make sense to, is... to do a ship? Yeah, ship file. Now we need to link it here and we need to say mod a ship and then pub use ship. And how do you import that in the main? Uh, it's still through the mod. Ah, OK. So it's, it's, it's flat in the game, basically. OK, cool. So sorry, let's do it here. Here we have main, here we have ship. What do we want to do? We definitely uh, the want star, to copy the starship, the, uh, the starship constructor, that one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then the engine, because the, the starship is the only one with an engine for yes. forever. 
the fuel is the animation timer is for the ship sprite so yes. in theory it can go in um the fuel text is a text inspectable type is a, is needed for the uh, for the bugger uh, can we now we have one setup can we add a setup inside the ship rs I think there is a way to do that. There is a way to implement and that setup is the one that is spawning the ship. So you spawn the ship inside the ship RS file. And then from the main, you say, look, uh, when you do up, and you say, mm -hmm. there is a system setup that is a ship dot setup or whatever. So, one, yeah, we can definitely create a function here. And then we just use that function. You can copy the setup function from main. And then we remove the text and we leave the text only. In exactly. But we, we can call it something like um, spawn ship. Yeah. So F public. F and spawn ship. And what it needs to take is basically new commands um, as a server. And the same of uh, line 14, 15, and 16, because we need the address for the text tool, mm -hmm. we need the asset server, we need. The... And then texture, uh, I can probably copy paste. Okay. It's not going to return anything. WGAFA was saying in the chat that for a small project, it's fine to flat everything like we are doing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, for a more complicated one, probably it's better to split uh, in a different way. But um, for now, let's do this. Commands is me, like two, you wrote it. Uh, in a funny way. Uh, yes, thank you. I did a typo. Okay, so now what we want to do is literally copy everything. Actually, copy the first spawn, just the first spawn, the one about. But we also the... want the texture. Mm, yeah, we need the text to handle. You're right, but so, we don't need the font. So the font is the for font. the other one. Yeah, so and the camera. Is... We don't care. We leave the camera in the main. Exactly. Setup because this is. And now we can copy all of this. At this point, those components need to be public because if we are using them only in this function, do Good they question. need to be public or? OK, Good we can question. remove the public later. And also, I think the Rust compiler will, will tell us look, why. Why it doesn't public? like velocity? Did we create velocity? Velocity is in the common. It's not in the ship. Right, OK. So you have to import the uh, velocity from common. Super velocity. Super velocity. Now I think we can also do use uh, create um, create game velocity. Yeah, that's the same. And now here, what we want to do is uh, after the font, we do uh ownership but no you can't you no, no don't add it there go where we have the the run can you specify two setup functions oh good question no, don't add don't add it there go where you have the up run where is the up run somewhere at the end yeah i think it's down if you scroll 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 okay up startup new. system Add startup system setup. Can you do add startup system? Uh, I already forgot the name. Ship startup. Spawn ship. Spawn. ship. Okay. Seems that it's not complaining. It is complaining somewhere else, so maybe we'll we'll see problems down the line. Okay. What if you run this now? What error we have? It's working. It's not working. We have a bunch of errors here, so let's see what are the errors. So, oh yeah, this is just changes. Here, what is there? Rotation speed. Oh, right, 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 right. OK, that's because we, we need to explore specific fields. Now, we probably can figure out another way not to make everything public. Mm. Ah, yeah, OK. Because we can use the event system and we can do something smarter. But let's make it happy for now. For so, instance, no, the animation timer does it need to be public. Because we only use it here. 
Uh, if we do we don't use it in a system, we don't query that in a system. Probably we will. Okay, but, but we can put the system in the we ship. Can put I mean, the system all, here, yeah. all the system that work on the ship, we can move them in the ship file. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's make it work and then we'll change that as well. Yeah. Velocity, we need to do the same. So if we go to common, we need to put this as public. Public. We probably can move the velocity system here as well. But for now, this is fine. Okay, now I think everything is good. Let's try to run. Compiling. Yeah, works. Okay, let's okay. keep moving things around. Test is still green. Um, let's move all this. Do we want to have a, syst a ship system file? Because that ship RS is where you define the ship components and the spawn of the ship. You can mm -hmm. have another file with all the ship systems hmm. instead of having them in the same ship RS file. I, because otherwise... I think I like it in the same file for now. Okay, let's put it in the same file. Then if it gets too big, we can do like a ship subfolder and like a sub module. Mm, okay. Okay. So what do we have here? A system rotate ship, right? Yeah, for sure. So we can probably copy this one entirely as it is. And make it public. And make it public. I'm wondering if there is a way like a, maybe if we do a plugin, but doesn't seem like the right solution. Where you can just say add this plugin and then you attach everything like once rather than attaching systems and spawning things independently. Mm. The velocity system can go in the common because velocity is in the common, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and that needs to be public. Now, what else? The engine is uh, for the ship. Part of the ship. Fuel tech system public. for now, and this needs to be public, you're right. We don't have a text RS. If you want to have a text RS with all the stuff about text. Yeah, there, we, we can and... do it in a second. Yeah. Animate sprite is also, yes, handle engine and so on. So this is uh... for the ship. The ship is the only one at the moment that has an image, right? This can change in the future when we have the asteroids, but... But they will so. probably have a different system because they reference a different, yeah, different texture, query, I guess. Right. Okay, public. this needs to be public. What else do we have in the main RS? The text system and... Oh, we don't need this one anymore. So the setup is getting simpler. We probably need to do a text system. And move this and having a setup for the test system and the and system and the system. We have an ads on Twitch at the moment. Yep, I guess we'll need to wait a few seconds. My cat is sleeping on the coast, so I will not wake him up. <laughs> cat advertisement. Cat you advertisement. Know, I'm going to try to find this uh, reference project. Let's see if I have it in my bookmarks on my phone. Okay, ads are over, at least for me. Good for you. Okay, I think I might have found. It's called Baby Game Template. And obviously, we will have structured the system in a completely different way. Probably. Because... Probably. So let me go here. So let me copy this one in the chat as well if people in the future are curious. So this one. Let's see what they do in source. Okay, they do Libores. So they have a main. Let's start from the main. Let's see what they put here. In the main, they only put resource, which I have no idea what is MSAA. Clear color. Window which we did. The clear color was the background. Window descriptor is to change the window size and the title, which we didn't bother doing, but probably we should. Add plugins. So they have default plugins and game plugin. So default is the one from Baby. So they created and everything the, as a plugin. The plugin comes from uh, Baby Game. And then add startup system. Okay. Set window icon. 
which I don't think right now we are caring about, but if we were publishing our game, this is probably how you do a proper icon on multi-platform. Okay, then what do they do? Where is game pl plugin coming from? Exactly, where is it coming from? From Libra. Source Libra. Libra. So Libres, they have all the mods of the different files, actions, audio loading, menu player. Frame time diagnostic plugin. That could be interesting. Maybe that's what gives you the frame rate. Game state, loading, playing menu. So they also have three separate views, I'm going to say. Which we didn't bother See, doing as well. Scene. Yeah, we went straight to play. Okay, so they defined a game plugin and then they implemented the plugin trait for this game, which gives you, which forces you to implement a function that receives the app itself. So we will do. And then yeah, you do add state. Uh, mm -hmm. And they are set. Also, the sub systems are plugin again, actions, uh, audio, menu. Player plugin. Oh, okay, that's player. interesting. So they are composing uh, plugins on plugins. So player, for instance, which is going to be similar to our Starship, they created a player plugin. Yeah, they take up, they add two system set. I don't know what is the difference between a system and a system set. On enter, on update, with system spawn player. But it doesn't matter. I mean, in our case, we can do yeah, one yeah, system. Yeah. They add basically those are system, but they are one system is on enter, the other system is on update, and depending on the system set. Probably is a way to manage transition between screens or scenes. One is or... to spawn the player, the other one is to move the player. So one seems to be the setup, and the other one seems to be the system. In any case, this, they created this in this different way. I don't know mm. why. But Probably, I, thought... uh, I suppose if you if you need to do different things. I am assuming that there is like a transition system between scenes, mm -hmm. and you yeah. want to add this one only when you enter. That because scene. setup is run at the start of the application; it's not run at the start of the scene, at the start of the state, right? Yeah, but I suppose if you can enter and exit this yeah. playing, if you can enter and exit a state, it's not a setup anymore. Because setup exactly. is at the start of the application, it's not at the start of where you say in the menu play. Then is on enter, and mm -hmm. on enter is spawning the player to a common spawn bundle and uh, the user. Okay. Then there is the then there is a spawn player, move we, player, we play, which are the two ones that are being used here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here is organizing everything uh, like uh, plugins. We have not. Do we like What's it? it? I think for now it's a little bit over complicated. It can be the next refactoring. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah. And what is inside actions? Actions, good question. Oh, game control. So all the control of the game through keys is done here. Mm. And then how do they interact? Because this is an interface that they are implementing. Where is it coming from? It's from BEV itself, this game control. No, it's declared in line three, no? Oh yeah, you're right. This is just a struct, and they are implementing functions on that. Yeah. Yeah. If you press W or up, is up. If you press S or down, is down, and so on. But you are basically you will be able to have an instance of game control, up, down, left, right, whatever, whatever variant, and then you can call dot pressed on it. Mm -hmm. Try to scroll. And then what do they do? Get movement, which is a public function. Game control, input. If control pressed input one, otherwise zero. I'm not too sure. I like this one. I don't know how. Okay. Confusing for me at least. And this is the mod inside actions. Set movement actions. This is the yeah like the top level file for this sub module. Hmm. Set movement actions. And this is a plugin that uh, adds a system on update of the playing status, the playing state. 
Yeah, state. and the system is this uh, set movement action. Yeah, that is called only when you are in the game state playing on update. But you see, he uses this game control right. Yeah, he's, uh, he's saying, okay, are you moving right? Yes or no? That can be zero, one, minus left, because left goes in the other way around. So if you press them on the bot uh, moment, left and right, you stay still. Mm -hmm. So uh, left is going minus one, and the other one is going one. And same for up and down, that is a player movement as a vector, then they store the vector uh, where? In the player movement, normal, uh, in actions, player movement. Actions uh, is... This guy, which is uh, just a struct. That component there. That is a component, that one? It's not it's the deriving component, component. Just it's just a struct. And it's public. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's probably the something that in uh, 09 is probably now called a resource. Oh yeah, it could be. So how do they use it? In now. Sorry, no. connection problems. I think we no, are back. Channel, are you still there? Can you hear me now? Yes. Cool. I think I had a connection issue. Sorry about that. Uh, I was saying I think this is nice, but it's a little bit too much for now. Now, mm -hmm. for us. Yes. Now. I like the idea. I just wanted to see if they do bundles somewhere. Like, because this is something I've seen somewhere else, but I don't think they use that idea. No, somewhere else, but I cannot remember where. I saw this other idea where player... <laughs> I think Roberto is having fire alarms. So he went on mute. Okay, baby is not helping us today. So I'm gonna do another uh, text or uh, what do we call it ui compared to saying sorry i don't know if you can read it hud is the terminology i guess for a game if you're back roberto you are still on mute no okay not back so if we go in main here Back now, sorry. Okay, no, nothing it's is not on fire, right? No, no, it's just my wife cooking. It's normal. Okay. <laughs> Good for you in this case. So we want to create this fuel status, right? So I'm adding here fuel status text, and then we want to do uh, this needs uh, to be yeah. public. Does it need to be public? Probably not. Oh, let's try. If probably, if we keep the system here, nope, because... Uh, Spawn up, yeah, thank you. Look at that. Is that what we want? Looks no, close yeah. enough, but I'm just gonna keep the signature because I like it. Well, we need no, commands no. and asset server. We don't what need the materials. I don't know so. what materials are to be honest. Go away. What's happening? <laughs> what I, I, I eat my password manager somehow. Don't beat your password manager. So we only want this one. Right? Up to here. Yeah. So in the main file, we will have only the camera left. Fonts. Look at that. It's guessing a font that we don't even have. Go home, copilot, you're drunk. Okay. And then there was a system that we also had here. <clears throat> I think we don't need the asset server anymore in line 10, or do we need it? In line 10. Uh, later, later, here. later, later. Yeah, okay. You're right. Don't uh, destroy your clipboard. Fuel system, this needs to be public. Now is that enough? Fuel text system, it's public. Yeah, but we don't have to import add from uh, the um, common RS. We common are... RS. Oh yes, you're right, you're right, totally right, sorry. We need to import uh, with... from no. mod. Ah, from mod, to say... sorry, well, not from common, from mod. Mod, add, add and, then... and then the pub use add the star. Okay, now here is finding all the issues because we reference an engine and a starship. Yeah, because we have we have to read the engines. Combo. We we can import them. It's not a big deal. I'm just wondering yeah, if it's a... so. Basically, what we want to do is use uh, create, create uh... The game uh, uh, engine mm -hmm. and uh, uh, fuel. Was oh, it why? fuel? What was it was just engine, I think. 
I think we just need the engine or not. What else do we need? Uh, fuel ah, the star with Starship. If we need Starship. Starship, okay. There was another thing there. Yeah. I'm not sorry. too crazy. A little bit. Okay, what else are we doing wrong here? Text. What is it missing there? Are you importing, baby? Prelude star? Yeah, it's yeah. here. Okay, it's there. Okay, cool. In the main, are we adding the spawn hub after the spawn ship? No, we need to add it. No. Line 17. So, after line 17. Okay, now, why is it complaining? It's going crazy. Okay, because this needs to be public. That was it. So, if we rerun the game, is it going to work? Compile. Yeah. Is it working? Yeah. Okay, so... Okay, now, with the same logic, we can add the fuel at this point. We can or add... the stars. We have stars, uh, PNG, fuel mm -hmm. PNG. So we can add... The, or Let's add or fuel. the fuel. Okay, let me do a commit. I think yes. this is a good snapshot. Yeah, it's a good refactor. And we also updated it to version uh, 0.9. And some code refactor. 0.0. .0. 0, .0. 0, .0. Okay, let me close everything here because too much stuff for me. I just want to re quickly review main. Now in main, we only have the inspector thing, camera 2D, and then attaching all the systems and plugins here. Yeah, and uh, putting everything together. Uh, those... We could be doing plugins for these things. Yes, instead of dedicated systems. Uh, one question was, uh, um, with 0 0.9, when you spawn, you can spawn a tuple. When you add system, can you add a tuple of systems? Well, it's not a big problem. I mean, I is, no that, is that is that this, uh, the main is very verbose. You see how long it mm -hmm. is. Probably with one, with the plugins can become a little bit shorter. But let's do that in another factor. Let's go like this. Okay. Let's have fuel. So what we want to do is fuel cells. What do we call them? Fuel cells. Fuel. Okay. Let's just call it fuel. I like it. Fuel RS. So we have to take more or less what we have in ship, I think. So let's do mod fuel first. And pop use fuel. And I like that it sorts things for mm -hmm. me. So we need to take what we have in ship. More or less something similar. I mean, we need velocity for sure because it will move. Mm -hmm. It will move. Uh, we need to define our uh, fuel um, struct that will be a component. Mm -hmm. Probably without, uh, we can uh, give it uh, a capacity. I mean, how much is the fuel cell charging ship? Yes. So That's let's copy random. bunch of this stuff. Not copy, not to move. You. I yeah, you're right. You cut. I might need this one. Okay, so we call it the fuel cell. cell. It has a capacity, a size. Um, yeah. I like capacity. Um, we will now need we velocity. Need a velocity. We import the velocity. Now we add a spawn function, a spawn system. Uh, it needs command, it needs resources. It needs. Uh, question How do we yeah. spawn? Do we spawn all in one go at the beginning or do we spawn over time randomly? For now, let's start spawning at the beginning altogether. Then we can have a system with a timer spawning a cell every now and then. But okay. at the beginning, let's spawn like, uh, I don't know, 50 cell Fuel. randomly spread around the screen. And this and like the need... ship, uh, go and copy from ship because it needs basically the same stuff of the setup from uh, the ship. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is the case where that bundle interface could have been useful because we could have. The replication of uh... yeah we could have created a um, bundle for a single fuel cell and then you just spawn that bundle once but anyway it's not let's let's do it simple for now and then we will figure out if we can improve mm -hmm. so we need going to ship uh, and going to ship and steal the, the function yeah that's signature we actually let's and... copy all of it 
for now. Yes, because we also need the texture, uh, we need the spawn uh, that will be similar, except that we have to remove stuff. And uh, yeah. I'm just gonna do this. Okay. Okay, so now the... it's, instead of being ship, is fuel PNG. Fuel. Press, yes. This one is static, right? Doesn't have. Yeah, one frame. No, no, it's not a map, it's a frame. If you want, we can make an animation. Do you prefer me to do something here? No. No, we keep it like this. Okay. For now, no. Uh, so, it takes me mm, five minutes to do one. If you want to, I can do that in parallel. What's the size? Is thirty-two? No, it's small. That one, I think, is eight by eight. Check again. Check again. Um, I if you double click, it's not. It's eight uh, by eight. Eight by eight. Eight yes. by eight. Yeah. Uh, do you want to still use the uh, texture atlas? Because in theory, this is an image, it's not an atlas. Let's it's use it one. for now because if we add an animation, yeah, if we easy. add multiple frames, it's already in place. We just have to change numbers. Cool. Now, uh, it, everything here starts with zero zero, which is not what we want. No, we want a random. Mm -hmm. We want a random velocity and a random. Uh, we have to remove the starship, which is now fuel engine. cell. And fuel yeah. cell is going to be with a capacity. That can be random again. Then we need a velocity, which will be random. We don't need an engine. And, and for now, we, we don't, don't need, need an animation time. We don't need an animation, exactly. It can be, we will copy from the ship later on when we have multiple frames. Mm -hmm. So spawn fuel cells, OK. Uh, let me how, many of them, how many of them do we want to spawn? Let's do another function, fn spawn uh, single. Random cell, something like that. Mm -hmm. Now, and what, what we is? need the window size, right? Yeah. Can we have the window size in the? I think so. Setup, at the setup so. time, is the window already created when the sub setup starts? Copilot stop. So what we want is definitely mute commands. Commands. Then we want, that's it. Do we? No, I have no yeah. idea how we reuse uh, why, why are you doing? Why are you doing this? Uh, OK, let's not do it like this. Can let's, you just put a loop around that commands phone? For um, in 0, 100. 100, OK. Is it too much, or we do 10? Let's do 50. Let's try 50. If they are too dense, we will. Uh, yeah, that can become a parameter or a configuration of the game uh, based on the, the difficulty of the game. Uh, for, OK, for, for, the texture okay. cannot be the same. We need to clone. Ah, this is uh, no, well, I, an endo. It's probably an endo. is a reference, yeah. You are not cloning the image for you. I don't you think so. I, mean, I hope not. Okay. OK, now random, there is a crate that I think I already included. Let me double check. Yeah, rand. And rand, I think what we can do is, um, oh, yeah, we need the window size first. Right. Yeah. Which we did that somewhere in the ship in system. In the ship for the wrap. movement. So it's in the system. It's in the system when we move it. Engine system? No. Animate sprite. No. Where do we move the ship? Did we, we leave we it in the ship? main? We forgot to move it outside. No, we got the no outside. So we oh it's in the velocity system. It's in the velocity system. Okay. okay so we need the windows, take, rest yeah. windows, and then we can do primary. Okay, I'm gonna copy all of this. And in fuel, we can do this. Okay, now we have a windows. We have W and H. So random values. If I remember correctly, well the capacity we do what do we want? Between ten and twenty. It's rand. That's what we want. Uh, we just have uh, random, or we have other functions in that rand. Let's check because I don't remember what, what's inside rand. Uh, Rust rand create. Okay. The book. The Rust Rand book. We need a book to generate random values. So, random data. 
there is a random uh, utility to have integers. Otherwise, we do that with math. It's not a problem. Yeah, just wondering okay. if there is a range, like a random range. Yeah, like in Python, there is a random int that is giving you an integer between two numbers, including the ex including including the two extremes. Can you search here at range? Look, we do that. We do that with math. If we go back, low and I uniform low and I. Okay, is there an example? No. <laughs> Distributions, okay, there, lower and higher. Ah, because previously was now set state. What is this? Oh, shoot, that no is what we are looking for. Yeah, because I think this this library is super generic. Like you can do yeah. distribution, you can do seeded stuff. Go back to our code. And yeah, I think we just do maths. Like multiply easier. by ten and add ten. Exactly done between 10 and 20 magic cool copilot even understand co so. yeah even the comments okay now the velocity what what is a good velocity i don't remember if what we are pixels by second in reality in the end so i think so let's go between minus 10 and 10 and um, minus 10 and 10 also for so, so we do the same thing uh, multiplied by 20 minus 10 multiplied by 20 minus 10 so in this way, it's going between minus 10 and 10, excluding exactly 10. So it will be 9.99, but who cares? And do that also for y. And we do that for y. Then the translation, that is the starting point, that is in line Sorry, 34. this needs to be dot zero. Uh, line 34, we can change the translation. Line 34. Mm -hmm. uh, instead of x to 0 and 0, the x will be based on h and w. OK, so we copy all of this, but it's going to be uh multiplied, multiplied by w uh, what is this the x so by what so w? this is w divided by no, no w multiplied by w minus, minus w, w divided, divided by two. Two. yeah in the same for y with uh, the random multiplied h and minus h sliced by two. this is h. h okay in theory now they should uh, pop up randomly and moving uh, slowly, I hope slowly, that then... Uh, we need to add this to our main. Yeah, and in this, add the startup system. This is a startup yes. system. My concern here is only when the startup system is called, the screen is already existing. But we will discover that in a moment. Good question. It's not complaining. So. But it's better of seconds to find it out. Because otherwise, we have to add a system, then keeping account of the fuel cell, Oh, no. no. And They're are they moving? moving? Yeah, but not super fast, please. I think they are slow enough. Uh, and now uh, the inspector is showing entity, 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 exactly. entity, entity. Can we give a name to that entity? I mean, the ship is one of those entities. I don't know which one anymore. It's the one that has an engine, but it's not very useful. So text, uh, text understands text that. The ship, it doesn't. Yeah, the ship is the only one with an engine. Can well, this one is fuel cell. Yeah, it might be any one of them. Probably the last yeah, one. Yeah, try the last one. If it run them in parallel, you are not so sure that it's the yeah, last one. This is the last one. Okay. Uh, well, this is just a super small. It's not important. Now. OK, uh, should we, we have... leave it at here for today? And next time we the have just collisions. The fuel cell is below or above the ship? We will see in a second. Is above? I think it's above. Is above. It's not important. Yeah, it's above. We, when we hit it, it will disappear. So it's not important. It was just curious. It is, seems are. to be above. Perfect. So I think we can close here for today. And next time, we will add the collision check for for the ship and the fuel cells, right? So we want the fuel cells to collide with each other and the ship to touch them and absorb yeah. the fuel cells. Yeah. And when they touch each other, what do we want to do? Good question. Either they bounce back or. Yeah, or they stick together. Or mm -hmm. I don't know. Or they way, generate what... another fuel cell and they bounce. One comment that I have that is pretty cool because we made the velocity <laughs> system generic enough to also deal with the wraparound. Yeah, we, we didn't have to do anything else. Like as, no, they no. just have the velocity, they move and they will wrap around. Everything that has cool. a velocity is moving and wrapping around. When we do asteroids, they will have a velocity too, very similar to the fuel cells, and they will do the same.
so at this point, and, and also the velocity system is in the common file, right? We put that in the common one. The velocity system is in the common one, yes. That makes sense because it's common to all the entities that have a velocity. We could have just called velocity at this point. But yeah. Whatever, refactoring. Uh, but I don't know if we will have more uh, common stuff in the future. Mm -hmm. But whatever, okay. Yeah, it's not important now. I think for today we can commit this. And I can, uh, by next time, uh, create a tile map with a few cells just to animate them. Mm. So we can add the animation of the cells next time. Perfect. So I think that's all we have for today. And again, if you want to see the source code, it's here in the chat. And uh, next time we'll continue our streams, our adventures in learning Rust and Baby. So if you have any comments, PRs, feature requests, let us know either on Twitch in the chat or on Twitter or wherever, create a PR on the repository or an issue and we'll chat next time, which I don't think is going to be next Wednesday, probably next Monday, but stay tuned on the Twitch schedule and on Twitter, we will announce it there. So, okay. Uh, See you. Ooh, we have a special guest. See you next time. Bye. Bye.